हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू दिस लेक्चर इज अबाउट द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ प्रॉब्लम 11.2 चैप्टर 11 मोटर डायनेमिक मशीनरी फ्रॉम द बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टीडीएस टॉप एंड मिकॉन्की स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज द स्टीम फ्रॉम द नोजल्स ऑफ अ सिंगल व्हील इंपल्स टरबाइन डिस्चार्जेस विद अ वेलोसिटी ऑफ 600 मीटर पर सेकंड and at 20 degree to the plane of the wheel the blade wheel rotates at 300 3000 revolution per minute and the mean blade radius is 590 mm the axial velocity of the steam at exit from the blades is 164 m per second and the blades are symmetrical calculate the blade angles diagram work per unit mass flow rate of steam The diagram efficiency and the blade velocity coefficient. So first of all, uh, we will write the given data. So we have given that the absolute velocity, which is basically C A I, that is given is six hundred meter per second. Nozzle angle. alpha i is 20 degree the blade wheel rotates at 3000 revolution per minute so n is 3000 rpm and the mean blade radius r is 590 mm r it is equal to 0.59 meter axial velocity of the steam at exit from the blade is 164 so the absolute velocity at exit is 164 meter per second and the blades are symmetrical means that blade angles at inlet and outlet are exit they are same and it is equal to beta we have to find four things first one is to find the blade angles blade angle at inlet and exit and the blades are symmetrical so we will only find the value of beta second we have to find the diagram work diagram work per unit mass flow rate third we have to find the diagram efficiency and fourth the blade velocity coefficient which is k now to start the solution of this problem we have to first sketch the velocity triangles for this problem so this is the value of absolute velocity cai 600 meter per second and this is the relative velocity cri cb is the blade velocity we will find it in this alpha i is the nozzle angle which is 20 degree beta e is the blade angle at exit this is relative velocity with this uh, respect to the speed of the blade cre and this is cae absolute velocity at exit and its value is given over here which is 164 meter per second so now from this velocity triangle we will use trigonometric relationships from where we will find the missing terms or missing velocities are missing angles so let's start the solution of this problem first we are going to find the value of the blade velocity which is cb cb is actually equal to r omega r is given 
omega is further equal to 2 pi n by 60. So putting the values r is 0.59 and this is 2 pi the value of n is 3000 revolution per minute divided by 60. So simplifying this we get the value which is 185.4 meter per second. So this is the value of blade velocity or blade speed sometimes it is called blade speed. Now to find the relative velocity at inlet with respect to the blade that is CRI. So for that we have the relation CRI square is equal to CAI square plus CB square minus 2 CAI CB cos alpha I. So here we know the value of CAI and CB is calculated here alpha i is also given 20 degree so putting the values CRI square is equal to 600 square plus CB is 185.4 square minus 2 600 into 185.4 cos of 20 degree. So simplifying this we get the value of relative velocity at inlet and it comes out 430.5 meter per second. Now to find the blade angle which is the first thing in this problem to find the blade angle so for that we have to use the uh, sign law and according to the sign law from the given triangle CAI by sine beta i is equal to CRI by sin alpha i. So rearranging it for sin beta i to find the value of beta it is equal to CAI by CRI into sin alpha i. So putting the values CAI is 600 CRI is, is calculated 430.5 meter per second and sin alpha i sin of 20 degree. So simplifying it we get the value of beta and it is equal to 28.47 degree. So this is the value of blade angle for this specific problem. Now second we have to find the value of the diagram work per unit mass flow rate of steam. So for that we have to first find some other things. So at, at exit of the blade we have from the velocity triangle CRE is equal to 
CAEY sin beta because this is a right angle triangle at exit so we get this value now CAE is given the value of CAE is 164 meter per second and beta we have calculated the value of beta and its value is 24 28.47 so from this the relative velocity with respect to the blade at exit will be calculated and the value of CRE is 344 meter per second now also we have to find delta CW so delta CW is equal to CRI plus CRE into cos of beta so again we have know these values CRI is 430.5 CRE is 344 meter per second cause of beta beta is 28.47 degree so simplifying this we get the value of delta CW which comes out 680.8 meter per second now it's very easy to find the diagram work per unit mass flow rate so diagram work per unit mass flow rate is equal to delta CW into CB also to convert it into kilo, kilo joule divided by 1000 so delta CW is 680.8 and the value of CB is calculated earlier is 185.4 185.4 divided by 1000 so diagram power per unit mass flow rate value is 126.2 kilojoule per kilogram per second this is the diagram work per unit mass flow rate now third we have to find the diagram efficiency so for that we can write that diagram efficiency is equal to 2 into delta CW divided by CAI square into CB into 1000 to convert kilojoule per kilogram per second into only joule so for this when we put the values 2 into 680.8 CV value is 185.4 into 1000 divided by CAI square which is 600 so simplifying this we get the value of diagram efficiency and it comes out 0 0.7 further we can write that diagram efficiency is equal to 70 percent so this is the diagram efficiency fourth we have to find the value of k so k is the ratio of relative velocity at exit to the relative velocity at inlet so we both 
have these values CRE is 344 meter per second and the value of CRI is 430.5 so simplifying this the value of K is 0.799 so the value of K which is blade velocity coefficient 0.799 so in this problem four unknown terms were found first one was the blade angle second diagram work per unit mass flow rate third diagram efficiency and fourth the blade velocity coefficient so this is the solution of problem 11.2 thanks for watching please like and comment on my videos also subscribe my channel to get new videos